What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Son of the Tech once again, and in this box I have the cheapest motherboard for Ryzen processors, also the AM4 platform, so that could include some APUs down the line. And this is in celebration for the nice and well-priced cheap quad-core, true quad-core Ryzen 3 processors. This one in particular is the 1300X. I know this is the more expensive version and I would have preferred the 1200, but this one came in first. So we will be doing a 1300X build and maybe we'll get our hands on 1200 later. So stick around for what's in this box. Here you go, fellas. Well, that's odd. It's a Munchkin Steel Thermos. That's the cheapest motherboard. Just kidding. I guess this got thrown into the uh, into the mix. That's what happens when you order on Amazon. Here we go. It is the Prime A320MK from ASUS. Now, I've had some bad luck with ASUS uh, recently this year with their X99 Strix board, but I'm hoping that we won't have that anymore. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside because that's the point of an unboxing it does look like up here we have two SATA 3 cables and then we can just bend this back and pull the board out and underneath what do we got going on here we have the user manual a crappy driver CD and a very basic IO uh, wouldn't expect more for the Price of this board and then we do have an additional m.2 drive screw so that's always nice to have those on hand because they are tiny and I lose them a lot I don't know if there's one on the board as well but we'll see in a second actually we'll just close this up right here boom dun, 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 dun. Alrighty, so pulling it out of its all of its glory. We'll get you guys a shot here. Alrighty, so the nice socket where we'll put our 1300X into. We have two slots for DDR4 memory. I'm hoping that this board will go up to 3200. I don't know if it actually does support that. Let's actually take a look here. It only goes up to, nope. So this board does support overclocking up to 3200, which is awesome because Ryzen does get a lot of performance out of higher clocked memory. So that's nice to see. Right here we have our PCIe 3 by 16 and we have two by one slots right down here. You have your SATA on the bottom right and it looks like pretty much all the usual suspects are here you get your CPU head fit on uh, your CPU fan header and up here and then the system fan header back here and it looks like do we have any RGB I do not believe we do I just want to make sure and confirm I don't see anything on the board itself it doesn't look like it the only one that got me here was the speaker which is a speaker so your speakers right there and your USB 3 oh there's only one yes only one for USB 3.0 oh. you got your ATX 24 pin and then your CPU 4 pin so you don't need an 8 pin header there coming off of your power supply we can get away with a pretty well priced power supply as well with this build all right, taking a look at the rear I.O., we have our PS2 connectors for both mouse and keyboard, it looks like, which is kind of that normal. Usually they put these two together. It does look like they dropped the USB ports that would normally be underneath the single PS2. So that's interesting. But this is kind of nice to see. I like this. We also have our VGA output and an HDMI output. We have two USB 3.0 here two USB 2.0 and two more USB 3.0 making for a total of four USB 3.0. No USB 3.1 on this board. And here's our NIC up here and then our rear uh, our rear audio IO. So that's gonna wrap all of that up. There's nothing really left to cover 
on this. I will go ahead and do a surprise unboxing of the Ryzen 3 for you guys, just because we're here. Ooh, seeing that I haven't opened it. And this will be my first time, even though I have the 1500X, I never actually put the Wraith cooler on it. So now I have two Wraith coolers. Pop this one out right here. This is the part I'm kind of excited about. I haven't ever used one, ever. Looks like the thermal paste is already on there too, so you wouldn't technically have to do it. So I'm gonna put it right back in the box so I don't accidentally rub that off. And then you have the four, which is interesting. It actually has four screws, which I did not know that's the way that works. So you actually take the brackets off the motherboard. That is news to me, actually. I haven't really even looked at anybody else install one of the Wraith coolers. I don't know if this is the Wraith cooler, actually. I guess technically it is uh, just a thermal solution. I think the Wraith one has the red on it. I'll have to check the 1500X and see what's up with that. This is definitely the entry level model. It's not the RGB or the lit up one. Here is the 1300X itself. And this proc, I believe, what is it? A 3.7 gigahertz boost with a 3.5 gigahertz base. I'm pretty sure we'll get it to four. I can almost guarantee we'll get it very close to four, not to four. And then we will probably have a hard stop right there at four, if I had to make a guess. So finally, I will just go ahead and throw this proc into this board so that it loses its virginity before the end of this video, because that just sounds like a good idea to me. So if we're just gonna go ahead and pop this right in here, let's line that those screws up. I get them pins right so you don't bend nothing. Socket AM4. There you go. This is the one of the cheapest Ryzen chips in the cheapest Ryzen motherboard on the market. Affiliate link for this motherboard will be in the description below. If you decide to purchase it, please use that link. And I will also come back through this with some more details and hopefully a more in-depth review as far as how the board itself performs. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and as always, I will see you next Tuesday.